Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Virgo is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. If there's something you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Virgo, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And we start with the death card now. Everybody, calm down. I heard the collective gasp. Uh, the death card is not an evil card. In fact, it is probably one of the best cards uh, in the tarot pack because this is the card of transformation. This is the card of evolution. This is the card of growth. This is the card of birth and rebirth and resurrection. This is the card of letting go so that we can receive. You got you to gotta drop what's in your hands so that you can receive the gift that you're being given. Right. Uh, this is also the fundamental force of the universe. This is change itself. All of the other cards revolve around this card. Really, every other card is an aspect of this, an aspect of change. Okay, Either our resistance to it, or our adherence to it, our harmonizing with it, our tolerance of it, um, our lamentation against it. But it's all about change. And so to get this as your first card, I feel like you're going through a lot of changes, internally, externally in your daily life, but also in your spiritual life, in your internal world. I feel like it's a slow, it's kind of a slow and gradual change. Let's see, let's put some more cards out. Well, this is certainly, um, it doesn't feel slow and gradual to you. I think it feels very busy. It might be, it feels like this is a slow process, but you feel like you're always in the middle of it. Does that make sense? Uh, it may be a slow and gradual change or evolution or development of a situation, but you feel like you're in the chaos of it every day uh, trying to get it done, right? It could be that we're approaching kind of the, the end of, of the process, and so it feels like there's still a lot left to do. There's the tower. There's that abrupt feeling I'm feeling. Yeah, this is the chaos. This is what it feels like. But see, both of these cards are changed. This is slow, gradual, fundamental change. And this is the really abrupt, shaking everything up, you know, flipping everything upside down, life-changing kind of. This is kind of, um, this is pulling the Band-Aid off really slowly. And this is just ripping it off. Okay. And it could be that this is a, um, there are long-term plans here. This is a long-term transformation for you started before you were born but it feels right now that you're just in the middle of this chaos we've got three major arcana cards that's pretty that's a pretty good pretty big deal here we've got an ace of swords we've got another major the hierophant and the moon yeah you have certainty despite the uncertainty you have guidance and stability despite the instability you are the perfect union of contrary forces right now but there's a seven of swords there's a four of swords, there's the hanged man, and there's the six of pentacles. Um, yeah, this is something that you're, you're very inv involved with, you know. It's something that is, it's something that I, I think you've decided on. You, you kind of invoked this. But right now in the middle of it, when you're, in, when you're in the kitchen, you're in the heat, you're in the furnace, in the fire... It doesn't feel that great. And you're thinking, why did I ask for this? Why did I do this? You know? Um, and I think that's a little bit of the seven of swords over here, asking ourselves, why did I get myself into this thing? But really, fundamentally, in your heart of hearts, you've got this ace of swords, this certainty, this clarity. Yeah, we have moments where we just want to, like, you know, shake our fists and say, why did I do this? Why did I get myself into it? 
But you know deep down that this is, this is what you invoked. This is what you wished for. And this is the process that you set in motion. And we see at the end with that six of pentacles at the end, it's going to be absolutely perfect. It's going to be worth all of the stress and struggle that you're, that you're uh, involved with now. Again, we've got stability. We've got instability. We've got certainty and clarity. We've got uncertainty and really darkness, right? You don't know what the next step is going to be. You don't know how everything is going to go. The moon card here in the future position is saying you don't know what all of the obstacles are going to be. You don't know what the next problem is that's going to arise, and there will be one. There will be one. But you're okay with that because you've got the strength to handle it. You've got the, the stability of will. You've got your true self on your side. This is that kind of, this is that part of you, the part of spirit, the part of your true self that's saying, it's going to be okay. Because right now, inside, you feel hectic, right? Things are just changing. It feels chaotic. But there's this poise and this confidence and this kind of message from the universe saying, everything is going exactly how it will be exactly right perfect there's no reason to freak out here right um we still feel that way and we we that's that's just how we feel there's no denying it the spirit's not asking you to deny it because again you can feel hectic and chaotic and just disorganized and there's just it's all this frantic crazy energy going on at the same time you can feel stable and certain and confident that everything is going according to plan just like you can feel certain, you can feel clear-headed, you can have this peace of mind, even when you have no idea what's going to happen next, right? Because this is part of a long-term change of your entire life, okay? This is from before you were born now till whatever today is, right? It's, a, it's been a long-term transformation for you, a long-term growth, and the more you think about it, the more you can trace that kind of thread through your entire life. Everything you've ever done has led you up to this moment. This is that big, long-term life kind of evolution. It's also ripping the Band-Aid right off. This is also a lot of change all at once, and it's kind of a fury of change. All right. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card from the Smith Weight Tarot. This is the factor infinite and unknown. Robo Duck will guard that card for us. Um, that card will tie everything together and give us our confirmation at the end of the reading. But if at any point during this program you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put a prediction down in the comments. We can do it together. It's a group exercise. It's meant to practice our intuition. You know, to strengthen that, we've got to, we've got to use that muscle, you know. Uh, so, looking around the room, we've got a lot of major arcana, all these major arcana energies. If we take them away, we've got a lot of air and a little bit of earth. We're still waiting for the payoff here. And we're doing our best to not have too many doubts. We, you have this fundamental spiritual underlying clarity and certainty about it. That's not the issue. What the issue is, is really the day-to-day -day psychic energy that sometimes is just like, why am I doing this? How do I get organized? What the heck am I supposed to even do? Where do I even start? And then whew, take a breath and we just keep going. Okay, and this is kind of, unfortunately, this is what your life is, is like right now. I feel like it's a lot of psychic mental stress. It is a lot of you going from a seven to a four, um, from a seven to a, a four of swords. And the reason why I'm kind of chuckling, because usually we think of, um, we think of the seven and we say, well, we want to reharmonize and get to the six. The six of swords is that good, stable, steady, um, beautiful, harmonious plan, right? Where it's just, it's, it's, a, it's picture perfect. In this moment, everything makes sense. The plan is perfect. I know what I'm doing every step of the way. Everything is, is organized and orderly. It's just a beautiful symphony of, you know, um, of steps in my mind. It's beautiful. Well, we don't get that here, right? We get the seven, we get four. 
Okay, four is just like um, here's here's uh, you know here's a thin mattress and and a pillow and a, a scratchy blanket and that's all you get. Okay, um, but we're thankful for this nonetheless. Okay, we're skipping, but and that's why I'm kind of chuckling because we're skipping the stage of that beautiful realization. That, ah, everything is is happening perfectly, and I know exactly what to do, and everything's on a schedule, and everything's organized. Everything has a label, right? Maybe you're packing things up. Maybe you're trying to start a business or organize your, I don't know, your filing cabinet or something like that. We're skipping the stage of that that beautiful harmony. And we're thankful that we just get the seven to a four, which is, you know, I don't have all the answers, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm just going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to try not to worry about it. This is a little bit of worry. This is feeling like it doesn't matter what I do. I'm not making a dent in this, in this task, in this job. Maybe you're packing to move, right? This is the feeling like no matter what you do, it's just not making a difference. It looks like nothing is done. In fact, it just gets more and more chaotic, right? This is that feeling like I'm just going to breathe. I'm just going to keep working at it, keep chipping away at it. You know, we don't get that moment where it's just like we've got the perfect organization, the perfect system down, and everything is running smoothly and calmly, and there's some uh, classical music playing in the background, and it's just very elegant and um, serene. We don't get that, okay? And um, nevertheless, you have this core certainty. This is the peace that's really kind of in your spirit right now. Despite the kind of psychic mental, um, you know, uh, stress that we have now, this is real peace of mind. Because you trust in the major arcana, you trust that this six of pentacles, this is the best day of your life, that this is, this is happening. Okay? That at the end of the day, at the end of this big project, maybe this is the end of the move, right? Maybe this is the last kind of push. You're eventually going to be in that new house, and everything's going to be put away, and you're going to be sitting there with the classical music on. Everything's going to be elegant and tranquil, and, you know, you're going to just be relaxing with your feet up, right? And uh, it feels to me like you need a little bit of this. You need a taste of this, right? So I'm a little bit I disappointed, I guess, that there's no water energy here. We've got major, 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 major. We've got air, 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 and, and then the earth energy. Um, what we need is a little bit of water. And maybe we'll get lucky and the mystery card will be some cups. You know, a three of cups, even a four of cups would be all right. You know, the Four of Cups will kind of say that it's not the, it's not the big celebration at the end. You're not done yet. But the Four of Cups would be like, you can take a break and get some water and go relax for a while. Go take a few hours and, you know, go do something for yourself, something nice. You know, don't, don't worry about this. Don't think about this. Just go treat yourself for a few minutes. But you got to come back. Okay? That'd be like the Four of Cups. The Six of Cups, again, is that celebration, that perfect moment. It's that crescendo. It is just that beautiful harmony. That's the moment that you take a picture of and you put it on your holiday cards. Yeah. And that's what we're getting at the end. And you're confident in this. Spirit has shown you this vision. You know this is coming. But right now, you know, we're dealing with the more immediate, just trying to stay on task and stay somewhat organized and somewhat, um, you know, have some sort of plan that, that, we, can, that we can go by, okay? Uh, but I understand that feeling. It, it seems like the more, the more you chip away at it, the kind of bigger the mess gets, and then it just kind of adds to this feeling of uncertainty or frustration or the stress or the chaotic kind of... Um, you know, the state of things, right? And I feel like this, um, I feel like this is the perfect card. This is the art or temperance card. I feel like this is really perfect to have this right in the middle, right? Because of the, the balance that we're talking about, because of the, the chaos, but the stability, because of the certainty and clarity and the uncertainty and the darkness before us, right? And maybe this is kind of, this is where we are also experiencing this kind of change and evolution. Maybe we are going from chaos to stability. Maybe we are bringing our certainty into the uncertain to 
have certainty about this, right? So there's a blending of energies here. There's a union of opposites with the Art or Temperance card, but then we also see this is more of the transition between the opposites. Right now in this moment, you've got to kind of exist between the rock and the hard place. You know, you've got to be right in the middle of this and just try to hold on to the, these positive qualities, let's say, right? Or this particular, this particular end of the pole and, uh, and make it through this end of the pole, right? And that's what the art or temperance card is. How do you handle a situation like this? This is a difficult situation. You can't run away from it because this is your will. You've put this in motion. We've just got to endure. We've got to try to, we've got to try, try to find some order in the chaos, some stability in the unstable. We've got to find some clarity in the darkness. Okay. And that's really the name of the game right now. I do want to see some water energy that gives you a, a bit of a break, you know, of course. Um, but this is not the permanent state. This is you dealing with the situation that you have to deal with now. In the moment, this is what we got. Let's, let's, you know, let's do it. The death card in the middle is saying this is not going to last forever. This chaos that you feel, the darkness of the future, and even the sacrifices that you've, that you've had to endure, and the sufferings, right? We'll get to that card. It's not a permanent thing, okay? So this is us dealing with the situation. Now, this is like these two cards. Um, this is the dinner service. It's chaos. It sucks. It's hot. There's problems. There's wrong orders coming in. Food's getting sent back. It's really, we're in the weeds. Really, really chaotic and just torturous, right? This is the end of dinner service. This is when you finally close the doors. You're not letting any more orders come in. You know, it's, we're, we finished with that. You know, there, this is saying that there is, there is a point to all this. There is an end to all of it, you know, and, and this end I think is going to be very much worth the suffering, right? Um, the hanged man over here is, is pretty important too, because this is not only how much you are putting yourself into this, sacrificing yourself, offering yourself to this being willing to to sacrifice your time and energy to get this really the best day of your life right to get this kind of glowing moment uh that picture perfect moment that is you know that's going to go on the holiday cards but i think the hanged man is also um it's one of our fears worries and concerns see this this place in the spread is the fear worry and concern we're kind of worried that all of this is going to be for nothing um and I, I think that this is this is part of a, a, a test for you. Sometimes that art or temperance card, you know, this one, the kitchen. Sometimes this is about the test. You know, sometimes, yeah, it's a dinner service, we're in the weeds, but spirit's trying to see how we're gonna handle things. You know, the 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 head chef, the executive chef is kind of watching you, see how you do. You know? See how you perform, see how you can perform under pressure, right? And this, I think, is, is kind of part of that, to see if um, with all of the, you know, and maybe this is a situation where a lot of things have gone wrong. There's been a lot of problems. You've had to deal with certain, um, certain things that come up, inev variables, right? The, the inevitabilities of these things. If it's a big move, it's a business, it's a family thing, it's a relationship, I don't know. It's a creative or spiritual pursuit. Could be any of these things or all of these things. Um, you know, how much are we willing to sacrifice of ourselves? How much do you want this? You know, that we're willing to, um, you know, we're willing to uh, give up our luxury a little bit in order to do this. You know, this is, this is part of the major arcana energy. This is part of the test. You know, this is part of... Um, this is, is you kind of showing how devoted you are to this because of what you're enduring. Now, we don't endure suffering just for its own sake. And, and look at me, I'm suffering. I must, be, I must be a good person. I must be spiritual, you know. Um, no, we don't want to. We want to minimize the suffering as much as possible, right? 
But the fact that you're willing to do this and willing to endure these things speaks a lot about your your character. Now, if this was if this was up here by itself, right? If there were no rewards to reap, right? Um, if there were no desire to um, to get to this the six of pen that harmony that really beautiful energy at the end this would be rather pointless this is suffering for really no reason this is someone that that suffers because they think that's the way to greatness that makes them a better person by default the more i suffer the better of a per better person i am um you're suffering for the sake of something else okay not suffering for your own sake but suffering for this better life that you're creating for you, your loved ones. This is that beauty and harmony that we're trying to create. This is your purpose. This is the, um, well, it's, it's aimed toward the alleviation of suffering, right? The lifting of yourself and others out of suffering, improving the quality of life for yourself and others. And sometimes we have to suffer a little bit in order to suffer less. Sometimes we have to sacrifice things to get what we really want or need. That's part of the lesson of the death card, too. Remember, you've got you've to let go of what you're holding to receive what the gift is. If you've got your hands full of other stuff, it's, you're not going to be able to receive the gift that the universe is, um, is holding out for you. Okay? So I think that you have a, a really strong energy right now. Uh, I would like to look at the mystery card. Yeah. I would like to look at that card. Let's see what RoboDuck is holding on to. I want the cups. I want the water energy. I want to see that you're getting the kind of break that you need um, or, or that, you know, this situation is nearing completion and you will get that time to rest and relax and enjoy it, right? I'm thinking, thinking some water energy. Yeah. If you have a prediction, Put it down in the comments. Let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. We're going to ring the bell here. That is your power card. That's the hermit card. And this, I think, is perfect. This is telling me a couple of things. One, that you, you did kind of, um, you put your blinders on. That you kind of drew a circle around this, this time of your life and said, I'm going to focus on this. Right? And it really could be that you just said, hey, don't bother. You called up your friends, your family, you sent out a mass email. Don't bother me from nine to five on the weekends because I'm doing just this. You know, blocking out some time that you're doing nothing else but packing or, you know, building the business or tackling this filing cabinet thing uh, or whatever it is. Right? Building this thing that you're building. Maybe you're building a house. Maybe you're building. Um, I don't know, restoring a car. I don't know what you're doing. But this intense work, this really busy, chaotic sometimes work, um, I feel like you had to set that intention to block out some time and space for you to do it. Okay. Also, I think that this card is kind of um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I think that the light, what the hermit is holding, that lamp is really this. I mean, it looks like a lamp, right? Look how bright that card is. It's sh it has its own light, that card. That's what you're discovering. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You're, you're seeing that you're so close to finishing this thing, and it's starting to feel really good, right? The Hermit is also telling me that when this completes, when this is, you know, finds its, uh, its finish line, when you, when you get there, whatever it is, you must take some time for yourself, by yourself, to enjoy it, to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate, take a hot bath, take a long nap, take a few days even, to just almost bask in the glory of it, you know, but to allow yourself to feel it, allow yourself to breathe and rest in a calm, quiet place, sit in the middle of this thing, whatever, and just experience it. Because you put in all of this energy and you really, you really need this. And I'm so happy that we got your power card. This is better than the cups because this is a more complex symbol. Yeah. And I think that this is really you now um, 
taking some time away for yourself to meet with your true self, higher self, God, goddess, deity. Meet with this hierophant. Because these two are one. Right? It's, pretty, it's the same energy. But you have to find that connection within you and really commune with this experience. And of course, rest and relax and treat yourself and uh, put your feet up. You know, let other people do the work, right? Because you, you've just really been through the fire. Dinner service is over. Now you get to sit down, put your feet up, and have a nice hot meal. Take your time, enjoy it, savor every bite, right? Savor every bite. Very good energy. And you need this, Virgo. You really, really do. We're going to do an extended reading. And uh, if you want to watch the extended, you can click on the link up here. There's a link down below in the video description. New readings for Virgo every Tuesday and Saturday. Sometimes we do a bonus reading, right? Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. Um, leave a comment for me. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. I thank you and I love you. And we're all in this together.